And um, and then they, and then sometimes they say, what about people who don't come from the Salvation Army? I'm like, well, if they spend a year with us, they often end up <laughs> somehow with us, you know, somehow connected. But uh, I know um, you lot all came already from Salvation Army backgrounds, and uh, we're blessed by uh, the, the cores that sent you. Um, and so we were really blessed to receive you, and now we we celebrate you, we honor you, and we are also <laughs> sometimes when we walk home after Sundays. I go, kids, what, what, what was great today about the church? And like, no one came in and started screaming. Like, oh, that's good. Um, so we we celebrate you, and we also. Um, commit you to whatever it is the Lord has for you, um, whether that's being continuing to be part of 614, whether that's being part of another core serving uh, around the world, wherever it is that you are uh, meant to be, where God is calling you to be, that is what we want for you. Our greatest joy, genuinely, is being able to put our hand to someone and say, well done, and that's what we want to do. And uh, so um, most of you will be carrying on and completing uh, various aspects of the War College. So this year was a fairly unique year in that um, we had most people doing it um, on kind of a individual schedule, a little bit part-time, some people working and so on. And so we have some classes that we'll be finishing up in September as well um, uh, for most people. But uh, we really did want to just take this time to honor you and to bless you. So um, Kara, do you have... Uh, anything to say or something? I have individual things to say. Individual things to say, no. But I will hand this out one at a time, Paula. Ladies and girls, hey, hey. for you. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Paula has one of the biggest hearts I've ever met for the downtown east side and for what her life was like here and where God has actually brought her out of it and back into the downtown east side. So that's Paula. Mm -hmm. Travis Williams. Travis is an incredibly gifted worship artist, and he has a heart for serving God through his voice and through guitar and piano and anything else. Just those instruments. Well, bass is the same. And bass is the same thing. <laughs> I don't believe that's true, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. Josh Stowe, who has a heart for throwing himself into everything that he thinks God is asking him to do. And that he has been quite faithful to that this year. So, yeah, Josh. <laughs> David Ross is our session evangelist. Yay, he likes yay. to preach the good news yeah. to anyone. <laughs> people of different faiths, people who are Christians. And he's like, but have you heard this part of the good news as well? Or this part? And that's been a blessing to watch this year. Amen. Yeah. Megan Rockwell, who is a committed servant of all, she has been very faithful to go to anyone and say, what is it that you need me to do? And then just put herself 100% in that spot for that person. So we love that about Megan. Amen. David Perry. For those of you who don't know, David Perry loves children and youth ministry, oh. and he'll be going off this summer to work at Camp Sunrise in that. So we would like to bless him. Okay. I don't mean to crash the party, but I have a word from God to somebody that's up there. Um, please, okay, because I know where you guys are coming from. I, I, I used to be a pastor, and I am an evangelist. I prophesy. I teach, and I preach the word of God. I'm a five-fold minister. But the root hadn't been pulled. So, so we like something happened when I had when I had uh, when I had uh, like all kinds of stuff happening. Even like Job, I ran to the world. I didn't run to run to God. Don't 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 run to the world. Don't be like me. You, you guys stand firm for God. You guys sell out for God. Come on. Don't let nobody tell you. You're not, you're not a child of God. Do not let anybody tell you that you're not the head, that you're the tail, because you're the head. You guys are more than conquerors. You guys are soldiers for God. 
Don't sell out for God. Uh, I bless you guys in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, all right. Receive that. And then you want to look at me. <laughs> Can you do me one favor and pull your um, diploma up, please? Like everyone else. There we go. <laughs> do not conform to the world, but be transformed. <laughs> now, this is a very uh, a typical 614 thing that we do, and anybody who uh, is uh, comfortable doing it, please do so. We love to just come around in one big holy hub and lay hands on and, and pray. Um, and I think, it, and if there are any words to be given, uh, then we can do that um, in, in that kind of hub. Should also just let people know we we mentioned that David was going up to Camp Sunrise this summer. Um, Megan has got some employment at uh, Salvation Army Thrift Store and is um, doing some of that, and she's been also helping out uh, down here at Common Ground, which is really hugely important. Um, David has been uh, already volunteering and doing kind of an internship at Harbor Light as a chaplain and doing really really well at that, and so we're really excited about that. Um, Josh has been kind of a jack of all trades, but he's going to be involved in some of our prayer course and doing Alpha and also helping put together some of our uh, getting kids to camp thing. Um, Travis is going to be going up north uh, to Camp Mountain View um, to, to do some work up there uh, this summer. And uh, Paula is also working across the street now at the Harbor Light, which is fantastic. It's absolutely wonderful. And, uh, and she's been putting together as well some some thoughts around visitation and what that looks like for uh, our neighborhood. So we have, a, more than just saying we want to train people, people have been in, kind of engaged in ministry and are looking to do, what is it the next thing that they can be doing and offering to the kingdom of God? So those are some things we can pray about. So if we could come up and if you guys could gather in a huddle and you could be praying for one another as well, and, and those who are here, if we can come up and pray for them, please. Uh, let's do that. Right, right in here. Yeah, we're nice and tight. <laughs>